Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. Well, right behind me, I'm in the backyard of the parish house, is a cherry tree. And you can see that it is got some cherries started. Yeah, that's right. Well, this weekend we're going to hear about how Jesus says, I'm the vine and the Father is the vine grower, and that he prunes every branch that it would grow, so that it would grow. And... I must tell you, I pruned this. This is my second year. I've pruned this tree. The last year, I pruned it. Before, the first year I got here, um, I pruned it so much that I thought I killed it off. And I talked to Father Don Gutman, who brother of Father Dave Gutman, and Father Don Gutman is an expert or was a graduate at Oregon State, and he knows all about plants and things like that. Uh, well, he assured me that actually it's not dead. And I'm like, okay, so it didn't bear any fruit last year. But I trimmed it back again this year, maybe not as dramatically, and sure enough, we got fruit right here. So it's obviously not ready to go. But I want to just mention this because, let me keep going here. So I want to mention this because God has given us in our lives all kinds of gifts. What's your gift? And we're called, when we have these gifts, to use them. But that means to do, do them well, that means they have to get pruned. I mean honed. I mean practiced. So if you play like a violin. I used to play the violin as a third grader. Started third grade, went all the way through up to 10th grade. And I was probably okay up until maybe, maybe middle school. And then I really started thinking about how bad I sounded. And would I practice? No, I didn't even like listening to myself practice because I've been trained with, through a Suzuki method to be able to hear very well and to to know tones. And I knew I was out of tune. The violin is one of those instruments that is so difficult to play because just a smidgen movement of a finger on the fingerboard would mean that you're out of tune. And I just just didn't care for that. So uh, 10th grade, we hung up my strings. Consequently, after that, the orchestra program at Tiger High School collapsed at that time. We were almost like, a, we, I think we were more of a, a quartet or a, uh, uh, a small group of maybe even five sometimes. But anyhow, so that was that. But I had, if I really wanted to get good, I had to practice. So change the thought. So now go mm, another 10 years or more. Now I am, as a young adult, wanting to learn how to play the guitar. And to play the guitar meant I needed to practice. In other words, I needed to hone or be pruned. That meant pruning meant spending time, not just having fun, but the hard work of practicing and actually getting calluses on the fingers and, and learning new music and talking to people. And maybe you, you've taken classes. I self-taught myself. I started out at Christ King Parish and I was... And this is when I was at Central Catholic High School as a teacher. And I, I basically air strummed most of the songs. In other words, I looked like I was strumming, but I didn't know a lot of the chords. Eventually, I taught myself the chords. I practiced them until my fingers would bleed. And I have to stop and wait for a couple of days until they healed. And then I would practice some more. Eventually, I was able to play the songs. I was able to actually go to seminary and be a leader in one of the choirs. We were part of the contemporary group. The seminary, they want you to hear all these different kinds of type of music, like Gregorian chant, Spanish, whatever. But I was the, I was the group that was doing the contemporary music. And so there you are. So that had to get honed. In fact, while I was there, I realized I also wanted to play uh, something else, because there's other people in my group that play the guitar. It's enough. We have enough guitar players. So I picked up and learned about the mandolin. Now, here's the cool thing. Remember, I was being pruned as by practicing sometimes as a, as a young person playing the violin, and I dropped it. The violin and the mandolin sound like the same name because basically the strings, the tunings are the same. How about that? So I just needed to practice my strumming and trying to get the individual notes, and there right you go. I was doing really well. And so I was able to play the mandolin and the guitar and just would switch hit 
at masses. In fact, even when I was first year, first couple of years as a priest, I would help out in the choir uh, at the church, whether they had guitars and or a mandolin. I was able to do that and augment. I mean, mostly I would play a mandolin because there again there was a lot of guitars. So that's just my story. But it's about being pruned. It's about being doing something that you like, but then knowing that it's not going to be a simple task, that sometimes things have to get cut, like spending of your time in certain areas, or the suffering of being pruned by practicing, or getting critiqued, or taking lessons, or doing your math homework, or studying for an English exam, or you know how, you know, you get what I'm saying? So here we are. Jesus says, I am the vine, and my Father is the vine grower, and he prunes, right? He prunes us so that we will grow in stature in our faith. So if we want to have a strong relationship with Jesus, we can't just really only go to Mass and just sit in the pews. Anybody can be a pew potato. No, we have to actually not just even say the words, not just speech. We have to live it. But that only really comes when we have had a intimate, transformative experience of Jesus. How do we do that? Well, reading your scripture can help you, avail you in that way. But it comes down to opening your heart and letting God prune you so that he can reveal himself to you. Some of those prunings that we need, well, I know for a fact, for me, and I think probably for you, our pruning is in the area of sin. Those things that block us from God. Number one is pride. That's the most insidious one of them all. Because it's like, no, I know what I'm doing. I don't need help. I don't even need you, God. And even when we say we're Christians, we still battle with pride. Pride can come in so many ways. So I leave you with a short message to be pruned. What needs to be pruned in your life? Start with pride. And as you get rid of your pride, and by the way, if you're a musician, that pride is trying to be honed so that you will be a good musician. But often pride gets in the way, especially as musicians, because I'm this is me, I'm good at this. Well, there's always somebody better. God is good. He's perfect. He loves us. And he wants you and he wants me to allow be being pruned, to let go of our pride and let him do his work. And then we will make music, whether it actually be through an instrument or in our lives of faith in some other way. I'm recording this on Tuesday. I know that uh, coming up, it's going to be kind of yucky and rainy coming up. So <laughs> I'm glad I'm doing it today. I had to prune myself. I'm like, it's Tuesday evening. I want to relax. Nope. Got to make sure I record this. I'm going to go ahead and edit it and get it out to you for Friday. Sometimes we just got to prune things. Sometimes it's our schedule. Father Anthony is preaching, and I'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye.